strung out that I need to, uh, where I'm going to line my posts up. I'm going to have five posts. And I'm going to tell you, it is just unbearable. This is going to be the most awful build I've ever done in my life. It's terrible. It's so hot. It's nine in the morning. <sighs> but we're going to go with it. I need to at least get these poles, holes dug today. So to find my square, I marked three foot from this and I made a little dot. Then I went four feet on this side, made a dot. And then when you measure across to know if you're square, you should get five feet from dot to dot. It's not, not real easy to hold it in your tape. And it's exactly five feet, a little bit over. Not much. So we're pretty square here. I actually had to shoe. Let me grab the camera. I actually had to come out about an extra foot from the concrete because there's <laughs> just big gobs of concrete in there. Uh, there's no way my auger will go through that. So we're gonna come out a foot. I'll deal with that part later. And then, I mean, the very first thing I need to get going here is a roof over my head to keep this sun off me. So once I get my post set, and I'm only gonna be able to work about two or three hours in the morning, two or three in the evening, because it's just unbearably hot right now. It's probably already 90 degrees. <laughs> 85, the humidity is what kills you. So I'm gonna get these post holes dug. Got to get this auger out of the box. Ended up going to Harbor Freight. I am not digging by hand. And then I'm going to get that ledger board off. Let me put you up there and look at this thing. This won't be fun. Got all kinds of different screws and nails and bolts. But I'll get it off. Uh, so put the posts up. Get the ledger board up. And uh, do the rafters. Get the, get the roof on even if it's just a tarp for now but uh we'll come back when i get ready to auger some holes all right it is a quarter to seven i have not been able to do anything all day it's just been so scorching hot i tried earlier i got sick went in no energy it never used to be like this so i don't know guys it's, it's not supposed to be this hot right now but it is uh i got my doors that I needed nothing fancy just good metal doors uh, I go to a discount construction place so I got, I got for $2.99 I got both doors framed and uh, right now the dogs are barking I got this auger all I gotta do is gas it up and we're gonna do a few test holes here well I'm actually gonna at least do the one on the end and that that one on that end see how this auger goes through this rocky soil if you could call it soil, it's more clay and rock and everything else. But as you can see, <laughs> I barely got shade here now, and it's quarter of seven. So, guys, I know I said I was going to do this in two or three days and then put a video out, but if I'm only getting to work on it an hour or two a day, yeah, can't go that long without a video. All right, well, let's get this auger. And the nice thing is, all the augers I saw that were made by predator were 25 to 1 fuel mix this one's 50 to 1 so i can still use the same fuel i use for my chainsaws weed eaters so that's cool and they do give you a, a special bottle that shows you how to mix it but since i've already got it mixed i'm gonna throw a little in there let's let it beat me to death all right guys we're gonna start with this corner so the sun's to the rear there I just put gas in it with the uh, oil in it there's a switch you put to run there's also a switch here that you turn to on and then I guess there's a primer bulb I'm gonna have to prime it till you see the fuel going through there we go all right give her a whirl I gotta put it on run.
I'll be dipped in duty. Well, there it is, guys. You got me out of breath, but I'll tell you what. I'd probably be laying on the ground if I was doing that <laughs> with that post hole digger over there. Uh, yeah, it's from Harbor Freight, but let me tell you something. Not everything Harbor Freight has is junk. That has the Predator motor. Clearly, it has enough power. It's got a 52cc motor. Uh, you know, they're not paying me to give it a, uh, a look. And I'm going to have to come and probably wall them out a little bigger than this because I've got six inch posts. It's a six inch bit for four inch posts. What I'll do is I'll go next to it and make the hole big enough. I mean, it's easy enough to use. I can do that with no problem. Uh, I can take the post hole digger and get the rest of that dirt out. Uh, some of the reviews I watched, man, some of them guys were morons, man. They'd, they'd take it down and it hit a root and it gets stuck. Well, you can't stop. You got to keep the thing turning and pull back up. Knock out some of that dirt. You've seen some of them rocks pull out of there. You, just, you know, I've never run one of these in my entire life, but I have enough common sense. Man, I watched a few videos on people that did know how to run it. But they could have done the same thing, right? So what I want to do, I did mark out five, five holes. I don't really want five posts here. I want four posts, so... I'm going to do one on the end and two in the middle. And then what I'm going to do, my screen is four foot, uh, 48 inches, four foot wide. So I will frame out with two by fours. You will see why when uh, I ordered a track system, a screen tight system to put on there. And it goes on a one and a half inch board. You'll see when we get to that point. That could be a while, guys. Uh, yeah, I'm going to try to work a little bit tonight. Maybe work on getting this ledger board down while the sun's not on me uh, man i'm telling you this morning was brutal it was the sun comes up right there over the shed and as the day goes on it goes down over there man i was drenched within 15 minutes and just, just can't work in the heat no more and so this is gonna, this is probably gonna take me a while but i think once i get these poles set get the new ledger board on and get a roof over it you know it, it'll make a difference and i'll tell you i was planning initially to go all the way to the edge of this thing and if i'd have known i would have had to do that i would have got but I, I can't i can only go this far because i only got 12 foot sheets of metal roofing and i go that far i'm going to be short so that's as far out as i can go i figure in this area i'll make some kind of a I could put pavers down. I could do anything. Put stone in there. I don't know, put some plants, guy stuff. Who knows? Uh, so bear with me, guys. I don't want to hurt myself on this task. Uh, I'm only going to work at my pace. You know, YouTube. <laughs> YouTube's not going to justify how fast I do this. So, and I want it done right. So, I just wanted to put this video out there. Uh, just to let you know, you know, there's no race here. And, uh, yeah, that thing. And, you know, the nice thing is they're not expensive. I mean, that was 220 bucks. They've actually went up about 50 bucks in a, in a year or so. But to me, that's, that's, that's a lifesaver. Uh, if, it, if it gets this job done and just dies and never runs again, hey, it's worth it to me. And to go rent one of these, they're going to charge you about 70, 80 bucks a day. So that don't make sense. What makes sense is spend the 220 and a bonus. Now they come with, you know, let me see if I can zoom in there. You know, that's the same mix I use for my gas or weed eaters and my, oh man, what's this? That's something I didn't read. Oh, that's the gas tank. I thought that was a separate tank, the way it was looking at me. Like, maybe it automatically mixes. Nope. So I did it right. Such a handy machine. Well worth the money. Maybe they'll send me another one. I don't know. All right, guys. God, it hates. I, it sucks having all this material ready to go, and, and I'm limited by the heat. I mean, I just can't work in it. And there's a few days next week that I 
turn this around. As you can see, I'm already spent, but there's a few days next week that's gonna, I mean, even if it's just cloudy, I can probably handle the heat. It's that sun, you know, that's beating down on you. But we'll get it done. And, uh, man, what did I, I bit off more than I could chew? Nope, we'll get it. All right, guys, happy trails. All right, guys, just a real fast garden update. These things are taking off. Come over here down the tomato line. Looking real good. I'm getting ready to water, but look at these cucumbers take off. And they look healthy. I have not had any success with cucumbers, as you know. And I kind of put this extra piece of fence here. Yeah, <laughs> don't know. And the crazy potatoes. You know, they had a thirsty day, so. Romas, I've never done so well with Romas. Look at them things. Peppers look a little saggy. They're all right. They're just thirsty. Now let's come over here. The marigolds that I planted starting to get flowers. Look at that big dude. Look at marigolds fixing to pop. Now this one doesn't have a marigold. Look at the difference in the color. So maybe there's something to that. Another marigold getting ready to sprout. Look at them tomatoes all got blooms. These are all doing very well. Just coming through here real quick, guys. And the basil, rosemary, all that jazz. Wow, celery took our parsley took off real good. And the eggplants are looking sad, but they're surviving. Basil's taking off. That sage doing well. And Squash, and that is a uh, or no, a uh, okra, and not sure. I think that's another basil. So yeah, garden's doing well. That sage is looking good. Tomatillo, everything's green. I'm having better luck this year than I did last year. So obviously the soil that I bought direct directly out of the bag here pretty good stuff because they're all doing well all right guys we're going to end this lame video here because it's lame because i didn't get nothing done today that's just how it rolls look at them puppy dogs over there in the shaded corner they stayed in their shade shelter most of the day rooster doesn't want to go out at all when it's hot but she's out now all right guys bear with me we'll get this done hopefully sooner than later that's true.